Jimmy. Oh, yeah, Missa. How the Papa, 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 First, me talk about that. Get it to a be. They say the concrete and casa and the midi gummy yam. Papi, me nimse si Steve ni mwa ya di. Hansi me nimse odi ya. But me ya me kama kama. I jam yam pa me dem yam watu. Show me a miracle. Eba. Ah, it's showering cash with a grand price of 100,000 Ghana cities in the Etel Tigo Tugumisu promo. Top up, do so much more on Etel Tigo and end points to win lots of cash. Dow Star 500 Hajj and recharge 5 Ghana cities to also win data and call minutes. Etel Tigo, you know, my year, my year, the beam. Tap into the convenience of APSA contactless cards, another innovation that's turning banking on its head. Now, you can make fast, easy and safe contactless payments for everyday items. That's Africanacity. That's APSA. What's up? Bro, I do. It's that time of the year again. I'll be you know we made it last year. What be the challenge for today? Time travel is possible. Okay. All we have to do is find E. This one day we're gonna need more time for that. But we have the best data bundles. Okay. Yeah, we will see us. Do more with Ghana's best data bundles on Etel Tigo. Big time data, Sika Coco, Morning Rush, and other amazing offers. Dial star 111 hash now. Etel Tigo. Life is simple. you're doing it for, we'll help you get it done. Simply. That's Africanacity. That's APSA. and welcome to the preliminary stage of the 2022 national championship of the national science and math quiz competing in the 17th contest are Chenebo Akudria SHS St. Francis Xavier Seminary and Wesley High School Let's 
meet the contestants. Chunibako DISHS is represented by Opokunya Micho Gideon and Afez Gabriel Kerry. Gabriel and Gideon, you are welcome. St. Francis Xavier is represented by Lugutua Morrison. Elias Nazir. Okay. Morrison and Elias, you are also welcome. Wesley High School, Bekwai, represented by Atogwa Prince. And Adam Angie Maxwell. Okay. Gentlemen, congratulations for making it to this round of the competition. The National Science and Math Quiz is proudly sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with Absa Bank and supported by Joy News, Goel, Prudential Life Insurance, Airtel Tigo, GNPC, Dano Milk, Newmont Ghana, Academic City University College, Accra College of Medicine, and YFM. I am Dr. Anita Ajwa Opong. I will be your quiz mistress, and this is a prime time production. Gentlemen, this contest comes in five rounds. I'll begin with round one. And in round one, questions will be posed to each school. And contestants, you have 10 seconds to give an answer or 30 seconds to give an answer if the question involves calculation. Your answer should be on a one attempt. If the answer you give is correct, the school gets three points. If it's incorrect, I may pass the question on for a bonus. So this is where you wait for me to rule on the answer before you press the bell. If the answer the school gives is correct, that school gets um, one point, and if it's incorrect, a deduction of one point. For this round, I will begin with Trinibu Akudria SHS. Please, let's test the bells. Trinibu Akudria, St. Francis Xavier, and Wesley High School. They're quiet. Okay. I will start with Trinibu Akudria SHS but it's a preamble to all schools. Distinguish between niche and habitat with respect to the following. Distinguish between niche and habitat with respect to the following. Trinibu Akodria SHS, composition. Yes, Gideon. Okay, the niche is the space in which the, an organism is found as well as the functional role of the organisms. Whilst a habitat is a particular place within the ecosystem which, can, which an organism can be found or located. That is incorrect. <laughs> For a bonus. St. Francis Xavier, yours is size. In terms of size, a habitat has a greater size compared to that of a niche. That is correct. <laughs> Wesley High School, Bekwai, nature. So, yes, friends. Um, for the niche, um, it's it is composed or it has organisms um, taking into um, concentration their, the particular place they live in the ecosystem and their um, reproduction and function in the ecosystem. But for the habitat, it is the natural place where an organism lives successfully. Mm. Okay.
So for Chinebua, the composition is a habitat, a habitat might have one or more niches, whilst a niche is a unit that doesn't have any further components. Your question, Trinibu Akudia. Given that the equilibrium reaction, Cn minus plus H2O going into HCn plus OH minus lies far to the right, indicates the strongest acid in the reaction. H2O. That is correct. <laughs> St. Francis Xavier, given that the equilibrium reaction H2S plus NH2 minus going into reversible equations HS minus plus NH3 lies far to the left, indicates the strongest acid in the reaction. We have NH3. That is correct. <laughs> Wesley High School. Given that the equilibrium reaction H2SO4 plus Cl minus reversible arrows HCl plus HSO4 minus lies far to the left, indicates the strongest base in the reaction. Yes, Prince. HSO4 minus. That is correct. Chinevoa <laughs> Kodia SHS, an ideal gas undergoes an isometric process in which its pressure changes from 120 kilopascals to 180 kilopascal. Find the final temperature of the gas if its initial temperature is 80 Kelvin. Gabriel. 120 Kelvin. That is correct. <laughs> Sen St. Francis Xavier, in an isometric ideal gas process, the temperature of a fixed quantity of gas changes from 200 Kelvin to 250 Kelvin. Find the final pressure of the gas if the initial pressure is 80 kilopascal. Hundred kilopascal. That is correct. <laughs> Wesley High School, a fixed quantity of an ideal gas undergoes an isometric process in which its pressure changes from a hundred kilopascals to one hundred and fifty kilopascals. Find the initial temperature of the gas if its final temperature is four hundred and fifty Kelvin. So, um, we have 300 Kelvin. That is correct. <laughs> a preamble. A preamble to all schools. Find the area bounded. Find the area bounded by the curve y equals f of x, the x-axis and the vertical lines x equals a, and x equals b, where find the area bounded by the curve y equals f of x, the x-axis, and the vertical lines x equals a and x equals b, where 
Chinibua code the ISHS. Y equals 3x squared minus 2x. A equals 1. B equals 3. Gabriel. 18 square units. Okay. St. Francis Xavier, y equals 5 plus 2x, a equals 0, b equals 2. Elias. 14 square units. That is correct. <laughs> Wesley High School. Y equals 4x cubed plus 2x. A equals 1. B equals 2. So we have 18 squared units. That's correct. Chenebo Akodia SHS. What is the most abundant tissue in higher animals? Yes, Gideon. Yes, the bone. No. Wesley High School. The blood. That's not correct. <laughs> St. Francis Xavier. What is the most abundant protein in the animal world? Morrison. Keratin. That's not correct. Wesley High School. The collagen. That is correct. <laughs> Wesley High School. Wesley High School. <laughs> Name the most abundant protein digestive enzyme secreted by the gastric chief cells. Prince. The pepsin. Choir <laughs> bonus. Pepsinogen. And the answer was connective tissues. SHS. Calculate the percentage by mass of oxygen present in KClO4, given the atomic masses in grams per mole of potassium chloride and oxygen as 39. 35 and 16 respectively. Yes, Gideon. 
Go on. We have 28, sorry. Into the microphone. 28%. That is not correct. For our bonus, St. Francis Xavier. Elias. 47.1%. That's not correct. It's 46%. St. Francis Xavier, determine the percentage by mass of manganese present in MN207, given the atomic masses of manganese and oxygen as 55 and 16, respectively. We have Morrison. <laughs> yeah, fifty percent. That is correct. <laughs> Wesley High School determine the percentage by mass of chromium present in sodium dichromate, which is Na2Cr2O7, given the atomic masses of sodium, chromium, and oxygen as 23, 52, and 16, respectively. Okay, Prince. Forty one percent. That is not correct. <laughs> For a bonus. Forty. Forty percent. A preamble to all schools. An object moves along a straight line with constant acceleration. An object moves along a straight line with constant acceleration. Chinebua Kodria, find the displacement of the object when its velocity changes from 5.0 meters per second to 10.0 meters per second if its acceleration is 2.5 meters per second squared. Yes, Gideon. 12 meters. That is not correct. St. Francis. 15.0 meters. For a bonus, no. Uh, you want to? Okay. Give. What's the answer? 15 meters. So the answer is 15 meters. St. Francis Xavier. Find the acceleration of the object if it undergoes a displacement of 5.0 meters when its velocity changes from 2.0 meters per second to 8.0 meters per second. Yes, Morrison. 6.0 meter per second squared. No, I won't pass it on for a bonus.
is 6.0 meters per second, not per second squared. Wesley High School. Find the acceleration of the object if it undergoes a displacement of 8.0 meters when its velocity changes from 6.0 meter per second to 10.0 meter per second. Yes, Maxwell. Put the microphone on. Meter per second squared. That is correct. The last, the last set of questions for round one, Trinibua Kodia SHS. Given that F, bracket open 2x minus 3, bracket close equals 3x minus 5, evaluate F of minus 1. Yes. Gabriel. Negative two. That is correct. <laughs> St. Francis Xavier. Given that F bracket open 3x plus 2 equals 2x plus 3, evaluate F of negative 4. Yes, Morrison. Negative one. That is correct. <laughs> Wesley High School, Bekwai. Given that F into brackets 3 minus 4x equals 3x plus 5, evaluate F of negative 5. Maxwell. 11. That is correct. And that ends. And that ends round one. happen. This time, Goyle has introduced Super XP Run 95, a higher grade fuel loaded with additives and yet sold at the same price as normal fuel.
Go Super XP Run 95 enhances engine performance like never before. It maintains the engine by keeping it clean from carbon deposits. Go Super XP Run 95 is designed to burn slowly and thus improves fuel economy, making you save money after several kilometers. Go Super XP Run 95 gives you a smooth driving experience that is less vibrations. Fill up with Go Super XP Run 95. Now there's no need to pay more for any higher grade fuel. Goil has that sorted. Goil, good energy. Make I walk you through my everyday life. Busy, busy, busy from the morning light. My to-do list long, shadow fits overlap. So sharp, sharp, turn on mobile app. School fees check, light bills check. Do I'm with speed like a G4 jet? You be at the day, I am not upset. Check, I don't even use checks in the chair. Join the ABSA family and make fast, easy, and safe transactions with our digital products. Log on to absa.com.gh. No long thing. We like them simple and easy. Believe me, no long things in my life. No long like I'm simple and easy. Easy. Here's innovation from Goyle that takes you further. New Gold Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 tubes have been expertly crafted with the latest in liquid engineering technology. Highly advanced for modern engines, prolongs oil change intervals, save you fuel, clean, protect and enhance engine performance. The way engines work has become complex and Goyle has innovated to stay ahead with expertly crafted lubricants that work excellently with all petrol and diesel engines of today. New Goyle Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 News. Innovation that takes you further. Goyle. Good energy. Accra College of Medicine is the leading private medical college in the country, seeking to train doctors who are committed to excellence and have the heart power. With the state-of-the-art facilities, small class size and an amazing faculty, we help our students learn better. My dream of becoming a medical doctor is now a reality because at ACM I am offered the best learning experience. We are accredited by the National Accreditation Board and the Medical and Dental Council. ACM is affiliated to the University of Ghana with mentorship from the University of Ghana Medical School. For those who want to pursue medicine, our doors are wide open. Accra College of Medicine is the place to be. Visit www.acm.edu.gh to apply now. Accra College of Medicine, producing the next generation of health professionals. a challenge here that I want to address. Um, the challenge is what is the most abundant, so the question I asked, name the most abundant protein digestive enzyme secreted by the gastric chief cells. The answer is pepsinogen. That is what is secreted. So the consultant says pepsinogen is the answer. Pepsin is an incorrect answer. So with that said, at the end of round one, Chinibu Akodia SHS had 12 points. <laughs> St. Francis Xavier Seminary had 16 points. And Wesley High School Bekwai had 18 points. round two. In this round, the questions will be posed to all schools, and the first one to press the bell will have the opportunity to answer. If the answer they give is correct, the school gets three points. If that answer is incorrect, the second school that pressed the bell won't have the opportunity to answer for two points. 
if the answer is correct. If that answer is also incorrect, the third school that pressed the bell will have the opportunity to answer for one point if their answer is correct. All incorrect answers attract a negative one deduction. Please let's test our bells to ensure everything is all working. Chunibua Kodia, St. Francis Xavier, and Wesley High School, be quiet. The magnitude of the linear momentum of a three kilogram object is six kilogram meters per second. Find the kinetic. Six juice. That is correct. <laughs> the current through a resistor is five ampere when the potential difference across it is 10 volts. Find the power dissipated by St. Francis Xavier. Wait, 20 watts. That is incorrect. Prince from Wesley High. 50 watts. That is correct. <laughs> the spring constant of a spring, which stretches by 2.0 times 10 to the power negative 3 meters, when pulled by 56... Tunibu Akodia. 28 kilonewton per meter. That is correct. Find the Cartesian equation in x, y of a curve defined by x equals 2t plus 1 and y equals 1 minus 2t. St. Francis Xavier. Okay. Yes, Morrison. X plus Y minus 2 equal to 0. That is correct. <laughs> Find the equation of the circle with center in the third quadrant, touching both axes, and with center at a distance of 5 units from the X axis. St. Francis Xavier. Okay. In one bracket, x plus 5, all squared, plus, in another bracket, y plus 5, all squared, is equal to 1. That is incorrect. <laughs> At a distance of 5 units from the x axis. X plus 5 in a bracket squared plus Y plus 5 in a bracket squared equals 25. That is correct. <laughs> Find the 
find the solution of the trigonometric equation, cos squared x equals half. In the interval, x greater than zero, but less than pi. Trinibua Kodria. Pi on four radians and pi on 35 radians. Second one, pi on... Pi on 35 radians. 35. Okay. That is not correct. St. Francis. Pi, pi on four radians and... 3 pi on 4 radians. That is correct. <laughs> what type of cell division occur during micro... Trinibua Kodia? Meiosis. That is correct. <laughs> what is osmotic pressure? St. Francis Xavier. Osmotic pressure is defined as the pressure that is built up within a cell as a result of its absorption of water through osmosis, which leads to an expansion of the cell membrane against the cell wall. Okay. Hmm. What name is given to the production of small out? Spermatogenesis. That's not correct. What name is given to the production of small outgrowths capable of forming an independent plant? Wesley High School. Baden. That is correct. Determine the concentration of MgSO4 in a solution made by dissolving 6.0 grams of MgSO4 in enough water to attain a volume of 500 cm cube. Trinibu Akodia. 0.10 mole per dm cube. That is correct. Determine the sum of the coefficients of all reactants and products in a balanced equation of the reaction O2 plus CH4 going into H2O plus C2H2. St. Francis Xavier. Yes, Morrison. Six. That's incorrect. Trinibu Akodia. Nine. That is incorrect. Spelled out, the answer is 15. The balanced equation is 3O2 plus 4CH4 going to 6H2O plus 2C2H2. Indicate the specific type of bonds that holds atoms together in a molecule of water. St. Francis Xavier. Hydrogen bond. That is incorrect. Wesley? Covalent bond. Covalent bond. That is incorrect. Ring the bell. We have to ring your bell first. <laughs> you decided not to. 
Okay, they decided no. It's polar covalent bond. And that ends round two. Everyday life, busy, busy, busy from the morning light. My to do list long, shadow fit to overlap. So shop, shop, turn on mobile app. School fees check, light bills check. Do I'm with speed like a G4 jet? You be at the day, I am not upset. Check, I don't even use checks to the check. Join the ABSA family and make fast, easy, and safe transactions with our digital products. Log on to absa.com.gh. No long thing. We like them simple and easy. Believe me, no long things in my life. No like I'm simple and easy. Easy. Today, the question is no longer why do we have problems, but rather how can we spin those challenges into opportunities? This is the revolutionary mindset we, students here at Academic City, are driven by. Academic City, we believe that the challenges of today are nothing like the opportunities of tomorrow. Hence, we're poised for the future. And so we say, Come join us. Pakuli. Vyasunyan. Uyayi Tibatane. Zaufula Nadia. Vienu Rejwendri. Brabe Kayan. Ao, Amarasat Shami Hojao. As we lead the charge to empower the next generation of future leaders. Academic City University College, redefining university education. worldwide and absolutely free COVID-19 cover. Yes, absolutely free. A couple of reasons. The satisfaction of knowing that you know we care. It's in conformity with who we are, the core of identity. We have a value of initiative that constantly drives us and to push the bar. We have a mantra, always listening, always understanding, and we back that up. Customer satisfaction is important to us. We have been doing this for over 170 years. We have earned our promise throughout the years. We were there in 1848 during the cholera pandemic, the sinking of the Titanic in 1912 through World Wars I and II, 1918 Spanish flu epidemic, through the decade of the Great Depression, 2002 SARS outbreak. And we certainly have every intention of honoring claims for this 2020 coronavirus pandemic. Hi. My name is Razak Abdo and I'm the Head of Customer Service here at Prudential Life Insurance Ghana. I invite you all to join the Prudential Life family today.
Very interesting results. At the end of round two, Tunibu Akodia SHS has 20 points. St. Francis Xavier Seminary has 20 points. And Wesley High School Bekwai has 24 points. Round three, the problem of the day round. In this round, a question will be posed to all schools and contestants. You have four minutes. Questions will be posed to all schools and contestants. You have four minutes to provide an answer on the boards behind you. And the problem of the day is worth 10 points. At stake in this round is the Prudential Life Insurance NSMQ star. The star is awarded to a school that earns a perfect score which is 10 points for the problem of the day. And at this stage of the competition, it is worth 2,000 Ghana CDs to the team. I hope that is incentive enough. OK, turn over your sheet so that we'll go through the problem of the day. It's from mathematics. Find the quadratic equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, whose graph passes through the point a giving us 1, 2, b negative 1, 4, and c 3, 2, 4. Find the coordinate of the intercept of the graph on the axis. This is the problem of the day. Contestants, you have four minutes.
through the solutions provided by the consultant. So from the three points, you can derive three equations. So when you have A given as one, two, you get the equation A plus B plus C equals two. 
when b equals negative 1 and 4, you get the equation a minus b plus c equals 4. c giving us 2, 4, the equation is 4a plus 2b plus c equals 4. If you're able to write these three equations, you get three points. Then you use the three equations to find the values of a, b, and c. So subtracting 2 from 1, you find that b is equal to negative 1. And using equation 3 and 2, you get a to be equal to negative b, so a is 1. And then substituting the value of a and b into equation 1, you get the value of c to be equal to 2. So, from the values of A, B, and C, you get the equation to be Y equals... So once you find A, B, C, you get three marks for each. And from there, you get the equation Y equals X squared minus X plus 2. That is one equation. And then you were asked to find the intercepts, the, co the coordinates for the intercepts. So based on the equation, to find the y-axis intercept, or the intercept on the y-axis, x will be equal to 0, hence y is 2. So the coordinate is 0, 2. That's one point. For x-axis, for x-intercept, y will be equal to 0. So you have x squared minus x plus 2 equals 0. You can use b squared minus 4ac to get the answer. You get 1 b is um, minus 1, and then um, 4ac will give you minus 8. So a, 1 minus 8 will be less than 0. So therefore, there's no x-intercept. And that is 2 points. And that makes the 10 points. So let's go to the solutions from our contestants. Chenibua Kodia, they were able to give the three equations, but from there, it became an odious tax for them. They got lost during the calculation. So they get three out of 10. <laughs> Wesley High School, they were also able to give the three equations, but in substituting, they made an error, so got a wrong answer for B. So that's where it ended. So they also get three out of 10. <laughs> St. Francis Xavier, they also were able to determine the three equations. They went on to find A, B, and C, and were able to give the equations. They went on to determine the intercepts, but that was where they could get to. So they get seven out of 10. That ends round three.
At the end of round three, it keeps getting interesting, more interesting. Trinibua Kodia SHS has 23 points. St. Francis Xavier Seminary had 27 points. <laughs> Wesley High School, Bekwai, also had 27 points. <laughs> we move to round four, the true or false statements round. In this round, will be a substitution. Maxwell entry is going out for Julius Asari to come in. For Wesley High School, the choir. You're welcome. Round four, statements will be posed to each school and contestants. You have 10 seconds to give and to tell me whether the statement I made is true or false. If you give a correct answer, the school gets two points. An incorrect answer, a deduction of one point. You may choose not to answer, for which that statement will be passed on to the other two schools and the first to ring the bell will have the opportunity to answer for two points if it's correct, but a deduction of one point if it is not correct. I'll be starting from Trinibua Kodia SHS. The speed of an electromagnetic wave depends on the medium through which the waves propagate. Gabriel? False. That is not correct. St. Francis Xavier. All electromagnetic waves travel at the same speed in the same medium. Morrison. It's true. That is not correct. <laughs> Wesley High School. All electromagnetic waves travel at the same speed in vacuum. Yes, Julius. It's true. That is correct. 
Chenebua Kodia SHS. Chenebua Kodia SHS. A sugar solution is an example of a solid in liquid solution. Yes, Gabriel. True. That is correct. St. Francis Xavier. Smoke is an example of solid in gas solution. That's true. That is correct. Wesley High School, Bekwai. A is an example of a gas in gas solution. It's Julius. true. That is correct. In the third quadrant, both sine theta and cos theta are negative. True. That is correct. St. Francis Xavier. In the second quadrant, cos theta is positive and sine theta is negative. That's false. That is correct. Wesley High School, Bekwai. In the second quadrant, tan theta and cos theta are both negative. True. That is correct. SHS. <laughs> In a compound microscope, maximum magnification is obtained when the final image is formed at infinity. That is not correct. St. Francis Xavier. In a compound microscope, maximum magnification is obtained when the final image coincides with the object. It's false. That is correct. <laughs> Wesley High School. In a compound microscope, maximum magnification is obtained when the final image coincides with the object lens, objective lens. It's Julia. false. That is correct. Chenebua <laughs> Kodia SHS. The velocity of an object is always in the same direction as the acceleration of the object. False. That is correct. St. Francis Xavier. The speed of an object is always parallel to the velocity of the object. Morrison. It's false. That is correct. <laughs> Wesley High School. The component of acceleration of an object perpendicular to its velocity changes the direction of motion of the object. It's true. That is correct. A preamble to all schools, based on police ex based on police principle, based on police principle, Trinibua Kodia SHS, no two electrons can occupy the same subshell. Gabriel. True. That is not correct. St. Francis Xavier, no two electrons can have the same energy. It's false. That is correct. <laughs> Wesley High School, 
No two electrons in an orbital can have the same spin. Julius. It's true. That is not correct. Chenebua Kodia SHS, but it's a preamble. In a quadrilateral, if the diagonals bisect the vertex angles, then it is a. In a quadrilateral, if the diagonals bisect the vertex angles, then it is a. Chenebua Kodia kite. Gabriel. False. That is correct. St. Francis Xavier, square. That's true. That is not correct. <laughs> Wesley High School, Rumbus. It's true. That is correct. The last set of statements for round four. It's a preamble to all schools. Indicate whether the following are true or false with respect to protoplasmic respiration. Indicate whether the following are true or false with respect to protoplasmic respiration. It keeps the cells healthy. Gideon. It's true. That is not correct. St. Francis Xavier. It occurs only for some period when carbohydrates or fat is not available, such as during starvation. It's false. That is not correct. <laughs> Wesley High School, Bekwai. Occurs in the protoplasm. It's a true statement. No. <laughs> that is not correct. And that ends round four. Access our virtual assistant, the APSA bot, 24-7. That's Africanacity. That's APSA. Choose Dano Milk for your family because 100% of our milk is sourced from our farms. Taking great care in every step to ensure the milk that gets to you is of high quality. So build your strength every day with the goodness of Dano Milk. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. a challenge I need to address about the uh, chemistry second batch of true or false statement. The question was, no two electrons in an orbital can have the same spin. If it had been no two electrons in a suborbital, then that statement would have been true. 
So, I will read the results for that, for round four. At the end of round four, Chinibua Kodia SHS had 27 points. St. Francis Xavier Seminary had 34 points. Wesley High School Bequire had 30. St. Francis Xavier Seminary had 34 points. Wesley High School Bequire had 37 points. We move to round five, the riddles round. In this round, I'll be reading a set of clues and contestants. You can stop me anytime by ringing your bell to give an answer, if you think you know the answer. When you ring your bell and give the correct answer, whilst I'm on the first clue, the school gets five points. Second clue, the school gets four points. Any other number of clues, the school gets three points. But if you give a wrong answer, you would have to sit out of that particular, for that particular riddle until I move to the next one. Okay. There is also an incentive here. If you are able to solve three riddles correctly, you win the goal riddle bonanza of 800 Ghana cities. If you solve four riddles correctly, you get 1,200 Ghana cities. With that said, please let's test the bells. Pinibua Kodia SHS, St. Francis Xavier, and Wesley High School, the choir. First riddle, I am a function. My domain is the natural numbers and my core domain is the real numbers. I am a function of numerical pattern. I may be described as geometric or arithmetic. I may also be described as exponential or linear. In a way, I am in a way a function of position. Who am I? Chinebua Kodia. Gideon. Positional function. That is incorrect. St. Francis Xavier. Sequential function. That is incorrect. Wesley High School. A polynomial function. Ah, no. <laughs> Who knows the answer? <laughs> the answer is sequence. Riddle number two. I am a law that describes an interaction. I am a named law. I am a law of force. I am an inverse square. Chunibua Kodia. Newton's law of gravitation. That is incorrect. St. Francis Xavier. Yes, Elias. Coulomb's law. That is correct. <laughs> Third riddle. I am a simple alcohol. Tunibu Akodia. Gideon. Ethanol. No. I may exist in up to five isomeric structures. One of my isomers is the simplest alcohol that shows optical isomerism. I am commonly used as a solvent in many chemical processes. I have four carbons. Wesley High School, Bequai. Butanol. That is correct.
The last riddle. We are a system of sensory organs implicated in a wide range of behavioral abilities, including movement and predation. Our sensory ability is achieved via modified epithelial cells known as hair cells. We are visible as faint lines of pores running lengthwise down each other's each side along the side of some fishes. St. Francis Xavier. Lateral line. That is correct. So, I was on the third clue, they get three points. And that ends round five. of the contest, here are the results. Trinibua Kodia SHS had 27 points. St. Francis Xavier Seminary had 40 points. 
and Bekwai Wesley High School had 40 points. So, so because of the tie, I have to break that tie. So I'm going to read questions. And St. Francis Xavier and Wesley High School, the first school to get a correct answer, will win the contest. Are we ready? You draw my attention by ringing your bell. Find the Cartesian equation of a curve defined by x equals 2 cos t and y equals 3 sine t. St. Francis Xavier. x squared over 4 plus y squared over 9 all equal to 1. That is correct. of the contest, Trinibu Akodia SHS had 27 points, Bekwai Wesley High School had 40 points, and St. Francis Xavier wins with 43 points. <laughs> Trinibu Akodia SHS Unfortunately, this is where the journey ends for you, but who knows, you might be called back for the runner-up, the 15 runner-up. The same goes for Bekwai Wesley High School. You put up a good performance, so it's very likely you'll be called back as a runner-up in the next stage of the competition. Congratulations to St. Francis Xavier for winning this contest and qualifying to the 1-8 stage of the competition. <laughs> Viewers, do make it a point to join us for the next contest, which will feature Sims SHS, Akati SHS, and Kajabi Asatu SHS. The National Science and Math Quiz is proudly sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with APSA Bank and supported by Joy News. Well, Prudential Life Insurance, Airtel Tigo, GNPC, Dano Milk, Newmont Ghana, Academic City University College, Accra College of Medicine, and YFM. I am Dr. Anita Ajwa Opon, your quiz mistress, and this is a prime time production. Thank you.